is you grab the mesh, you grab the um, uh, armature, go file, export, FBX, you name it, you make sure it's just the selected objects, armature, mesh, other, export. And you can shift select these to get more than one. And so you exported it, and then you go into Unity, and then you go into, let's say I were to create just a, let's pretend we, we don't see all this stuff. Let's just make a folder for tutorial. I'll just go in here so you don't have to worry about all that other stuff. And we just take it into our project panel over here. As distinct from the hierarchy, don't drag your stuff from your files to your hierarchy, because it'll be confusing for you. Um, you grab Klaatu, drag it in here. It imports very nicely. There she is. Um, you go to animation. You create however many animations you need. And then let's start with uh, Klaatu um, idle. And then we go to Blender, and we look which ones were our idle. It starts at 37, and it goes to 69. And you'll notice that I have like these buffer zones where they're the same thing twice. And that's because if you put two different things beside each other in Unity, it tries to lerp between them. So you will get some like really weird jittering. So make sure you put these like buffer zones between your animations if you're doing it this way. That's just that's what I would like to do. Okay, so we say that's 37 to 69. 37 to 69. And then loop the time, loop the pose, apply. And then uh, to walk. And that one was do, do, three until 34. 34, boom, boom. And nice. So now we have uh, to walk. And we have to idle. Perfect. And so we go into this and we grab them. Control D. Now they're separate. And so I'm just going to keep these in here. And in the same folder, I'm also going to create and controller claw to uh, practice and in control. And I'm just going to close this up for a second, put this away so I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to bring in the scene view. Scene view, scene view, scene view. I'm going to close this as well, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, mucking around with the code. Put this guy in here. Do, do, do. And we're going to give it the animation controller. We're also going to give it its own material. So we're going to create, right click, create material. Practice. Plot to material. And we're going to give it the base map. We're going to drag in texture. Boom. And we're going to apply it to the base map. Boom. And apply the material to the character, as you can see. So that's nice. And um, there you are. So we've got that. So then let's go to the Atom controller. And let's just drag in idle. This is the default one because it's golden. This is the walk one. And you can change the default one by just right clicking and setting it as the default state. Let's create a transition there and a transition back. And I'm going to create a parameter for this, which is speed. There we go. <laughs> and so when this is greater than 0 0.01, it'll go up there. If this is greater than, if this is less than 0 0.01, it'll go back. And we're going to get rid of the end time, and we're going to bring the offset of the transition back to zero. Just like that. Do to do, do. Nice. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's see how that looks. Come on, come on, come on. I don't want, I don't want maximize. I want just regular. There you go. So now you can see it. I'll bring the animator over here so we can start to uh, see what's going on. So I put this to point five. There you go. And then. I'll stop and then go and stop and go and stop and go and stop and go and there you have it <laughs> nice and that's that's pretty much it that is bringing a character from blender into unity so all right i'll stop the recording here so i can give you guys a short video on this boom <laughs>